after closing as splint you can come up with this project window you can see uh, the results all tick mark here it means that we are successful so it is a point of happiness for yourself as well and to see the counters velocity counter pressure counter temperature control uh, double click on results it will uh, bring cfd post processing so please wait for some time uh, you can see the cfd post processing is opening and it will take some time to be in the model on so to see all the values all the results in this model uh, first of all you have to create a plane in that plane we will analyze all the results so first of all right click on the location sorry right not right click left click on the location you will see the plane i i, I left it as plane one and in the plane one i select method is three one that 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 is easier for me you can see i have created a plane in the uh, ANSYS post processing by uh, putting all three values you it's you it's up to you how calculate how you calculate this point so there is nothing to discuss about it so after putting this value you just uh, click on apply then it will create this kind of plan in this plan we will uh, see how velocity control changing so first of all for a contour right click on this bar contour bar for contour one we will go for velocity contour velocity contour contour so i will go for velocity contour and all domain location is our plan so i think this is pretty much understandable and you can see the velocity and number of contour can give a number larger than 100 and click on apply after clicking on apply uh, post processing will evaluate your results so you can see that's 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 out uh, if i see the isometry view and if i see the in the y direction you can see okay this is our inlet and this is our inlet. and you can see you can you can predict it see some velocity is entering some velocity. So this is our velocity control you can uh, take a snap and for pressure on select control and rewrite it as pressure and say okay and in the resume uh, location you select plate one let me deselect uh, the velocity control you can see the plane one you can see pressure this is pressure okay so it is automatically selected pressure and let me reduce to zero say apply you will and after applying you can see this kind of so if it, it is pretty much predicted that there is a pressure is very low and, and it is going to be high so there is a pressure is very low and it is going to be high so it is low pressure that is mean that means it is outlet it is high pressure that means it, it is inlet so i think pressure control is pretty much easy so i would go for you to see the vector quantity so for vector the location should be again plane one and then so on and click apply let me deselect pressure control and see sorry uh, for vector one and uh, the render symbol i think you can reduce this you can now you can see that or uh, if you see the line arrow 3d arrow i will go for 3d three, three arrow which is good good to see so you can see this arrow pre indicates that uh, the fluid flow is occurring in that side if i zoom you can see the arrow indicates it in that side in the channel you can see there is an opposite direction which means it is counter flow so that is our vector part you can redesign it or rendering it by by, by smooth shading or not transferring color it or view another another symbol and that's that's all i think if you want any graph in the resume first of all you have to 
put uh, some uh, line a line i will go for line one and the point well after putting all the value in in three point in three x y and z coordinate for for, for point one and point two you you can see the yellow line take say, a sample as 100 so then click apply and it shows me this line so in this line i will explain how velocity is changing so for this purpose i will go for chart for chart i left it for chart one and under data series i would go for location line one and an x-axis i would go for obviously in x-axis i would go for z and in y-axis i would go for obviously velocity or pressure you can even go for anything I prefer to go city first then and you, you can see the velocity is changing like this so I think it is very much clear to you how velocity is changing and you can go for pressure as well I can you can see how the pressure is changing you can, you can go for temperature as well temperature is changing like that so you can import all this data by clicking on import and it will save it as a CSV file which is actually an excel file so that's all about I think cross processing I think it is you can save it save project this will uh, save all this data in your uh, expected document so that's all about today thanks for listening